Greetings everybody, Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. Okay, we're gonna do a little something different today. Um, a lot of times I'll make almond milk or a salad or something like that and I just post pictures. So today I'm gonna do a cooking video. Okay, today we are making um, um, Burmese or Shan, S-H-A-N, tofu. And basically all that is is um, tofu made with chickpeas instead of soy. Because um, a lot of people are wanting to go soy free. And so this is an alternative. Um, it does have a different taste and consistency from what I understand but we're gonna do our best to make it as firm as possible uh, to make it easier to work with once we have a finished product so here's my colander um, most recipes call for chickpea flour but I actually soak these chickpeas overnight and just so you can see This is what they look like before we soak them. And you see how they swell up? It doesn't matter what kind of blender you have. Okay, I'm going to turn on my hot plate. Now, what you're supposed to do is two cups of water, put the chickpeas in the blender. So, okay, that's a cup of chickpeas and then um, two cups of water that I soaked them in. So then what you're supposed to do is take two cups of water and add it to the chickpeas and blend them and then strain them what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm working I'm testing something out and I want to see if I can make the tofu a little firmer so I'm putting a cup and a half of water and then a half a cup of water to boil so I'm gonna put my half a cup so that can start boiling okay I love this little cup. And then you don't have to do, you don't have to use the big blender for it. It makes it easier to clean up later. Okay. Then I'm going in with my water. that pretty much filled it up so the water came up to here now let's go ahead and start blending um, I do just about everything on high uh, um, Yeah, let's go for it.
might still be a little thick. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. This is my distilled water. Well, it's crystal geyser, and then I've set it in the sun or we'll put key lime juice in it. So. That was probably like a quarter cup or so. That made it overflow a little bit, but it should still be fine. Um, cheesecloth to strain it in case you couldn't hear me i do have my tea bags that i make put my teas in like if you order something from circuit2009.com like uh, some calendula or rose you would get these cloth tea bags i do have those um they're so small though, I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna cook it down. Then I also have this, but I think I'm gonna just go for it. <laughs> and I did put a little bit too much so it was overflowing, so I probably could have used the big part, but it's all good. We'll know for next time. As you can see, I like to clean as I go. I have two containers to put it in. I don't know if I will need both. Okay. Let's 
see if we can bring y'all a little closer. Eh, we'll leave you over here. Okay. So, take a little sip of water. Um, the water is boiling. in the pot and stir if you don't have a wire whisk just use what you have a spoon a spatula whatever you have okay this is sea salt I think I'm gonna put That's a teaspoon. And this is turmeric for the color. So I'll show you what it looks like before I add the turmeric so you can see. Okay, now I'm going to add the turmeric. Just gives it a coarse flavor and like a yellow color. Um, so you're supposed to whisk it for about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. Again, um, the Burmese normally use chickpea flour. I think they call it chana flour. C H A N A. Chana. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is going to give you a little bit of a workout. You want it to be kind of like a pudding consistently. Let me turn this heat down a little bit to medium. But you're supposed to stir or whisk it the entire time. reminds me of cream of wheat some people say polenta but I've never really made polenta so I wouldn't know I've seen it the before though you cook it the firmer it will get and of course and it's thickening up pretty quickly to be too thick because then you won't be able to work with it. And the longer you keep it in the refrigerator, so some people do 30 minutes to an hour, some people do two hours, and some people do days, like one to two days. So if you leave it in the refrigerator for one to two days, it'll really have some firmer tofu the less time you um, let it cool it'll be more I guess loose like um, silken tofu comparison to a firm tofu if you want something to compare it to you see how 
I think it got. I think I want to go a little bit more. workout for these arms. When you sit it in the refrigerator for a couple of days, you'll see that the water starts to separate. Um, if you just do it for like 30 minutes for, to a couple hours, it'll still have a lot of that water in there. So that's why it's still more silken than firm. Myanmar is formally known as Burma, so it's not called Burma anymore, um, but people still refer to the people of that region as Burmese, um, and it's in Southeast Asia between India and Bangladesh, China, um, and like I said, it's called Burmese or Shan Tofu, and it's basically vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free tofu. For those who maybe like tofu, but you don't want the soy, this is an alternative for you. Okay. Um, I think it's been about seven minutes, so we'll just go for one more minute. And it has really thickened up a lot. I use my spatula, my spatula, to um, put it in my containers. Like I said, I don't know if I'll need one or both, but I like the thickness of these. It's about two inches deep. All right. Let's go ahead and get this out of here.
keep this in the fridge for at least two days. One of these. All right. This does have a lid. I'm not going to clamp the sides down. But I am going to put it in the refrigerator just like this. And since today's Monday, I'll take it out on Wednesday. And then cut it up and see... Maybe Wednesday, maybe not. I may let it sit a little bit longer. It really all depends on how firm it is on Wednesday. I may show you how firm it is on Wednesday. I may not. It really all depends on what's going on on Wednesday. So, but that's it. Um, we're going to put this in a refrigerator and let it get firm. And that is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. I'm going to go ahead and get these dishes out the way and rest because I am still fasting. And it doesn't take a much for me to be drained and all that stirring. Um, ooh, made me a little short of breath just now. And it tightened up my back a little bit. So, I'm going to go sit down once I'm done with these dishes. All right, y'all. Later.